The news we all know is 051 Melly got shot where everyone was at a house party. His killer was at first stated as an unknown gunman until later after police's investigation when Nate was arrested as Melly's killer. Now there's a video stating the real reason why Nate murdered 051 Melly in the presence of everybody. You can't find the video for confirmation because it's already been deleted, which makes everything said in that video believable. Before we discuss this latest story, you have to be reminded that a lot of us thought Melly's death was gang related, though it could still be gang related. Also, that was the second time Melly would be facing something similar. He was there when Mubu Crump was murdered the same way, at a house party. Melly was even hit, but he survived while Crump died, a year before Melly died. I'm reminding you of all this so you can come to a conclusion based on what you think about all of this and not because of someone else's assumption. Also, be reminded of the type of person Melly was. He was a member of a Black Disciples gang and a member of the 051 Young Money gang. He's regarded as one of the gang's top hitters with multiple hits being credited to him, meaning he was a man known for dropping a lot of people for the gang or for his reason. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck! The first thing to note is that a lot of people would be scared of someone like Melly, someone who's not afraid to take lives, someone who wouldn't bat an eye to shoot others. He was that crazy and he's got so much confidence in his skills and his experience. Why did I say that? During a live video chat with Beizu, a rival gang member of THF 46, Melly told him if killing wasn't illegal, he'd spit on him when he's done. Beizu is a notorious member of the Black Disciples set, THF 46. THF 46 is one of 051 Young Money's biggest rivals. He was on a live video and he could boast of that shit. I mean, Melly was not an easy target for anyone. But you know, I always say when it comes to the street, don't believe you're indomitable. No matter how big you are, no matter how great you are, you can't be too comfortable because someone somewhere is looking for every means to bring you down. Some people must be happy with Melly Den and some will never cool with him. Think of those he has murdered and those he was a threat to. So his death day came and he was shot to death while attending a party in Gyro City in memory of fallen STLUBT member Can't Get Right. His shooting was caught on camera by Travis, one of the members in attendance. Speculations of who killed him became a hot topic and you can easily believe that it was gang related with no other faction considered because of Travis's death. Less than a month after Melly's death, Travis who recorded him getting shot was shot and killed while he was on Facebook Live with his sister. Though it was initially believed that he was killed as retaliation by 051, it was later revealed he was killed as a result of a personal beef. Before Melly's death, TW and 051 weren't seen as mortal enemies, though they had their issues with each other. After Melly's death, we can believe that the relationship reached a point where they could no longer be on friendly terms, of course. Now, this guy came out to make a video revealing a lot of secrets about why Nate killed Melly and all. Even though the video was taken down the day it was uploaded, some facts were recorded. It all started with a dice game, of course it involves money. Who plays a dice game without putting a bet on it? And anyone who bets should know that it can lead to something else entirely. Something that's not included in the rules of the game. So Nate and Melly were both involved in a single game which required Nate to eventually pay Melly. Guess he lost to him, but Nate didn't have money. Who plays dice games without having money? Anyone who wants to bet on a game should have money, right? Maybe Nate believed so much in his skills that he forgot he could lose so he held no money. You know Melly isn't an easy man. He's not that cool to overlook such so he started asking Nate for his money. And Nate kept postponing his payday. Guess it took a long while that it seems Nate wasn't going to pay him back so Melly took a violent step. He went into Nate's crib and shot into it repeatedly. What? Because of money? <laughs> That was what I asked too, but I got no answer to that. That day, Nate's baby mama and his kid were in the crib. I want to believe that Melly was not aware of Nate's baby mama and his kid's presence that day because his target mainly was Nate. He was the one owing him, not his kid or baby mama. The reason why Melly did what he did is still unknown. Don't know if it was just for the money Nate owed him or if there was another reason for that. No matter how much you think about it, if he had the intention of killing Nate because of his money, then that's petty and stupid. 
The last time I checked, corpses don't pay the debt. Unless there's another reason for shooting at his crib, he shouldn't do it for his money. The crazy thing is you never can tell. Power intoxicates. Sometimes you can't control it and it makes you do a lot of things that you shouldn't do. So it could be because he felt he had a kind of power over Nate and he wanted to show him that so he did it by making it rain in his place. Nate is a young guy who must not know that he shouldn't be messing with someone like Melly. Not paying Melly's money and provoking him like that might involve some of his friends. He should know that he needed to have money before playing a dice game. And when it comes to someone like Melly, he should not owe him at all or not owe him for too long. I'm sure he's aware but still, he didn't pay him and it didn't look like he was gonna pay him. You know, some of his friends might make him believe Melly was going to do nothing to him. The more I think about it, the more I realize that Nate's folks have something to do with the trouble he got himself into. They probably pretended to care about Nate when they don't, because they could have gathered money for Nate amidst themselves and pay Nate's debt if they wanted nothing bad to happen to him, but nah. Instead, they watched him take crazy steps. Even his baby mama was mentioned to be part of his troubles, which is reasonable. After Melly shot Nate's crib, she would pressurize Nate to do something about it. Women don't want their men cowering about, so she would talk to his senses to show Melly that he's a man too. Of course, she would be infuriated because her baby was in there too and they could have been hit or hurt, but thankfully none of them was hurt at the least. Nevertheless, anyone would have felt bad to have experienced such, but that still doesn't mean you should punish someone to the early grave just because you want to prove something to someone who's never going to listen. What if Melly was ready and Nate died in his stead? What would have happened unless she didn't care about him low key? Also, Nate didn't want to pay that money cause he should have at least feared that his kid and baby mama could get hurt for real. He should have borrowed from someone else at least to save himself and his family or do some petty jobs to pay for it. I don't know how much that money is but come on if he wanted to pay, he would have at least done something about it. So many factors joined forces to push Nate into killing Melly. He allowed words to get into his head and accepted the offer of finishing Melly for good from whoever advised him to do that. He didn't even put it in the presence of everyone. My question is, did he forget about jail? Did he have a wish to spend his life behind bars? If he did it for his baby mama, does he not want to spend a good time with them? I mean, for whatever reason, that wasn't wise at all. Or was it even a plot to get rid of both Melly and Nate? Because on the day Melly was killed, you know he attended that house party with Gyro City members and FBG Duck. Melly was told to be careful because rivals could secretly be at the party. He was warned to be careful which means they sent something already or some things must have happened before the party that we don't know about. Or maybe Melly's ego got him killed because he was warned and I find it crazy to know that Melly didn't care. I guess he saw himself as someone who couldn't be killed, shot or whatever. He probably should have known better but the way he escaped death while Mubu Crump was murdered. He managed to escape, that's a message to him, yo you can get killed. But Melly, he was like whatever and he kept celebrating, not until Nate emptied his clips on him in front of everyone. From the way Nate killed Melly, you could tell that he was scared. He did everything necessary to make sure Melly ceased to exist by shooting him continuously. He intended to finish him for good which is reasonable since he decided to take the step anyway. Cause if he didn't end Melly's life, he sure would have been in deep trouble. Not only him but his entire family, friends and the gang as well. So he made sure that the job was done. Now what did that get him? Melly ended up 6 feet under while he's behind bars. If you think about it, it's not worth it. That would only lead to more bloodshed because there'd be more retaliation from the other gang members. After all, Melly is an old member of 051 Young Money and also their trusted shooter. It's a great loss to the gang. This is why anyone on the street should help themselves by being safe in any possible way. Don't think that no one can get you because of those you have behind you or because of the power you have or for the number of people you have dropped. It's a crazy world out there, anyone can die at any time. You may have more information about this that I didn't mention. Feel free to share it with me in the comment section. Yeah, this is what I've gathered so far about the reasons why Nate shot Melly in the presence of everyone. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Do you think Melly did the right thing by shooting at Nate's crib to threaten him or for whatever reason? Do you think Nate was brave or stupid for ending Melly's life and the way he did it? Let me get your answers in the comment section. Hey you, yeah you, you like the video? Great, we got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like.
and all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click on fast because this message will self-destruct in 5 seconds.